Welcome to the Live Fit Listens podcast, a safe space of growth, personal development, and overall wellness with your host, Olivia Catania, diving into the realms of all things health, conscious living, mental expansion, and much more. This podcast is designed to help you evolve into your best self and live fit. Let's get into the show. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the podcast. Today, we're on episode 50, which is kind of blowing my mind. And I feel like like the 50th episode, that's when kind of people go crazy. But for me, I'm feeling more anticipation and like, holy crap, from the 52nd episode, because that's like one year's worth of weekly episodes, which like means more to me and is crazier to me. So like episode 50 is crazy. But I I'm more excited in two weeks from now when we hit the 52nd episode. So expect in that episode for me to be like, what the heck is going on? But right now I'm like 50 episodes, pretty rad. Um, I'm also accompanied by, if you're watching on YouTube, I have this little, (laughs) my little cute meditation bestie that I got from TJ Maxx. It's like this little kind of statue thing, gold statue. And I find such weird peace and resonance with this it's not even funny and just last minute before I hit play I like grabbed it from my nightstand I was like I'm putting this here to fill this empty space and I just am wanting her company today for some reason but isn't she just so cute like she's just so she's plain but she brings me so much peace so she's gonna accompany us today in this epi because we need her energy I need her energy also I totally forgot that the last episode that you guys heard was from my mom and I and I just want to thank everyone who took the time to listen to the episode who took the time to give me some feedback on the episode who showed love with the episode so many of you guys resonated with it and honestly more than I thought would resonate and my pure intention was to hope that people you know from daughters perspectives and mothers from their perspectives would be able to resonate from both of their POVs and that's exactly what it seemed like the feedback was which was super super just rewarding and was great to hear and I'm really happy that you guys got a lot of takeaways from that episode like it's obviously no secret that my mom has had a troubled life and to be fully honest like that episode was very scratched the surface of everything that she went through. Um, There was a lot more depth to it, but I didn't want to, you know, infringe too much on her privacy or make it too, too heavy. But I think that's why I kept apologizing of being like, oh, I'm sorry if this is heavy. I'm sorry if it's heavy because I knew like when we were speaking how much deeper it actually went, you know? So, um, and I also was kind of I don't know. I was also trying to be a little bit delicate with my words with her because as much as our relationship has grown and such, like there's still things that, you know, at the end of the day, there's still things that are healing within our relationship. There are still things that are sensitive topics. So, you know, there were certain things that I would have liked to go deeper on or take a different directions, but I just wanted to let the conversation naturally flow as it did. Um, and I think regardless, you guys still got good takeaways from it, um, which I, I'm happy about. So, for my gratitude for today, I'm feeling just thankful for the just about the fact that things get better. Um, I feel like the past bit I've been, I don't know, I feel like I've, you know, been pretty open and checking in with you guys periodically of how I've been like mentally and physically, well not, no, mentally and emotionally and you know, for the past few months it's it's definitely been up and down. I've done a lot of like healing and solitude. I've spent a lot of time alone and there's days where I feel really good and there's days where that that feel hard and just overall I just am feeling thankful today that things do get better even if you don't always feel like they're going to get better like eventually in time you gain clarity, things start to make sense even if it feels like things are moving at a snail pace to get better and for you to get clarity on it, but you know, at the end of the day you just need to keep trusting and it somehow always does work out and somehow always does get better. So I am thankful for that. And for some reason today I'm just feeling like I don't know, I'm feeling like comforted by being on the podcast right now and like speaking to you guys. I know that's kind of random, but I'm feeling like I just want to come on here and just simply chat and like vent to you guys. So (laughs) I'm feeling comforted just by speaking already. But for this episode specifically, this actually came to my mind a few days ago because I actually was feeling super high vibe. Like this past week was a really good week. I'm just going to say it this past week. I was freaking on it. I felt unstoppable. I was so empowered. I was like, I am the it girl, (laughs) not in an egotistical way, but more so like I am so freaking in my power right now. No one can stop me. I know 
know my worth. I know my value. Like I was freaking charging this week. And then the past couple of days hasn't like haven't as been as empowered, I'll say. Um, But it dawned on me when I was super in my power that I was like, hey, I really haven't ever spoken about what it means or how I know when I'm really in a high vibe state or when I'm in alignment. And I think that this is kind of a more simple podcast topic, but sometimes I feel like the most simple things are things that so many people are curious about, but it never fully gets answered because people are like, oh, that's such a, you know, foundational piece of knowledge that like, it's not super profound. So like, we don't really need to spend the time on it. But for me, I'm like, I want to spend the time on it in case someone's wondering, I want to speak about the differences between being high vibe and low vibe and like how you actually know when you're in alignment that day. Cause I feel like I throw that phrase around a lot. Like I'm feeling really in alignment or I'm feeling really high vibe. And I just want to share some ways that I know that I'm in alignment. So firstly, what does it mean to be living in alignment? Basically, I say that in the sense of kind of where you're operating on energetically and like what frequency you're operating at. So if that also doesn't make any sense to you, everything is made up of energy. Our whole entire life, this whole entire world, everything is operating with energy. Everything holds energy. It just is science. And with that energy is a vibration, right? Which meaning, which means that it is operating at a certain frequency, kind of like how you would measure music. I don't know if you ever like, this was like in a music class in high school, how music is a frequency. The sound is a frequency, I guess I should say that is measured in Hertz. It's like the same concept with energy. So energy is a specific vibration. Everything is currently vibrating. Like I said, it is science. And so there's a different kind of tune, if you will, a different frequency that you can be vibrating at that kind of dictates if you're quote unquote vibing high or having a low vibe or if you're in alignment or if you're out of alignment for the day. And high frequencies is you know, essentially when you are quote unquote in alignment, that's where you want to be like your higher vibration, the better, the higher your frequency, the better. That's when you are closest to your higher self. That's when you're closest to your path of highest alignment. That's just when you are closer to your best self and your ideal flow of life. That's just when you are in the flow of life, things feel really seamless. Whereas a low frequency is kind of what you more so want to stay away from. That's when you're kind of feeling heavy. You feel sad. Um, just kind of things like that. Things feel hard. You're feeling like you're needing to force things. You're feeling like you're out of alignment. Things aren't coming easily. So that's kind of the difference between some like a low frequency and a high frequency. And you ideally want to do what you can to stay as high vibe as possible. If you're just looking to live your best, happiest, seamless, easiest life possible where all the abundance lies. And this is why I'm so huge on just energetic hygiene is what I like to call it because you can very much so um, I guess be in charge or like, um, what's the word here? You you can dictate the frequency that you are vibrating at 110,000%. The power is completely in your hands. It's not something that you are born with and you being intentional with your energetic hygiene and where you're placing your energy, how you're setting up your energy for the day, how you're starting your day, how you're grounding yourself, um, what you're doing to get in alignment with yourself and with your core core authenticity. All of those are ways for you to be able to align to a higher frequency and actually choose the frequency that you're looking to operate at for the day, as opposed to just kind of falling victim of being like, oh, this is the frequency I woke up at. Like all of the meditations that I do, um, affirmations, journaling, um, just awareness, breath work, intentionality with my thoughts. All of those are tools that I use to get acclimated and tune into a higher vibrational frequency to live a better, to live a better life, to be my best self to be a better human to come into alignment with better humans and just overall live a better life like I'm saying so I feel like we should start with how I know if I'm at a lower vibe (laughs) because I just want to end on like a higher note so things that are signs to me that make me be like okay Liv you kind of need to realign for the day you're kind of really low right now you're not in a you're not in a high frequency another way to look at it is kind of like a I use this in a previous I use this example excuse me in a previous episode where I spoke about how your frequency that you're tuning into that you're operating in for the day is the same concept of how you would tune into a certain radio station. So I use this example already, but it's like if you were looking for pop songs or happy songs, right? That's like you living a good life, you being happy for the day, you coming in alignment with good experiences, but you're stuck on this lower, you know, you're stuck on a sad 
radio station that's playing a bunch of sad music or a bunch of angry music and you're just sitting there waiting to have happy pop songs come on, you're going to be waiting forever because you're tuned into the wrong frequency. So if you're looking to experience and listen to those happier songs, you need to get into alignment with that frequency. You need to tune into that radio station in order to experience those things. So if I'm experiencing these if I'm in like a low vibrational state and I'm in on that radio station where it's a bunch of sad, angry music, this is usually the things that I feel. So number one, a big sign to me when I'm out of alignment is that things will keep not working out. Like things will just feel like I'm trying really hard to force things or just I'm like, damn, like that could have really gone an easy way and it decided to take the hard route. Like um, what's like weird little examples, but like if I was to go in to the gym, sometimes this happens to me because I will only buy like three month increments of memberships. And like, if I'm kind of already having a slow, bad day and I'll go in and they're like, Oh, sorry, your membership is expired. Like you have to sign up again and pay again, but I left my wallet in the car. So I have to go get my wallet. It's like little things like that, that are like, there's just more inconveniences for the day. Things aren't seeming as effortless as they could. Um, just, there's just more inconveniences in your day is a big sign to me that I'm in a lower vibe. Next thing is kind of similar, but like a lot of bad news. So if I'm feeling, you know what I mean? Like if my dad calls me and said something bad happens, or I try to, um, you know, I was hoping for a brand deal from a company or something and they come back and say that it's not the right time or something like that. Just overall bad news in general, where again, things aren't, aren't going my way, um, is kind of another sign that I'm on a, on a lower vibe for the day. And I also want to say this kind of, you know, lightly and with compassion, because also I'm a huge believer that like, just because it's not now doesn't mean it's like a not forever situation. And like these lower moments are what teach us, um, lessons and things like that. So it is always conspiring for our highest good, but these are just how I know that I'm kind of in more of a learning frequency, I guess, for the day, as opposed to being like, oh, I'm reaping all the fruits of my labor that day when I'm in a high vibe state, if that makes sense. Um, another thing kind of similar is no synchronicities. So, um, if I'm feeling like there's just no, I don't know how to explain it, but just no like magic in the day. Like I can feel if there's a spark in the day and just when there's no synchronicities, meaning like there's no coincidences in the day, there's no like, Oh my gosh, that's so funny how that worked out. I just was going to do this. And then this happened. Like if I'm not feeling any of that, that's another sign to me that I'm kind of in a lower vibration. A huge sign to me as well is if there's rude strangers or if I'm coming into contact with people that are also unhappy, that are also seeming to be low vibe, that seem kind of miserable. Like if you're in the grocery store and someone gives you a dirty look or you're just, you know, you make eye contact with the stranger, but they don't say hello or you know, someone cuts you off and traffic, like little things like that, where you're just kind of having less, less than ideal interactions with strangers, or you're coming into alignment with people who seem sad, things like that. Like clearly that's a reflection of you're coming into, like I said, like everything is a mirror. So whatever you're coming in contact with the experiences that you feel for that day or a reflection of the energy that you were embodying that day. So if you're coming into alignment with people who are sad and just seem low, that is a very much so a mirror of how you're also feeling internally and what you're embodying as well. And then lastly, pretty self-explanatory, but if I'm just feeling low, if I'm feeling sad, if I'm feeling flat, if I'm feeling uninspired, if I'm feeling dull, all of those are kind of, you know, pretty, pretty telltale signs to me that I just am kind of not. And again, it's not that I'm saying like I'm in a bad frequency. I don't want anyone to like get in their heads about this, but it's more so again, you're just at like a lower frequency. That's why I prefer to say low vibe and high vibe as opposed to like good vibes and bad vibes, if that makes sense. Cause I do believe everything is always conspiring for a highest good, et cetera, et cetera. You guys know, I always say that it's all for our ultimate growth and healing and evolution as humans. So I kind of picture it like more so like that, like a lower level as opposed to a higher level and the higher level, the better, obviously. So now to the good stuff. This is how I know I'm freaking vibing high and how I know I'm an unstoppable force and how I know that I am living my best life. Number one, well, actually these are in no particular order. I guess I should have prefaced that to begin with, but a first thing that comes to my mind is angel numbers, which this is no secret. These are so trendy right now, but just if you don't know what angel numbers are, I guess it's back up. They are repeating numbers or um, maybe pairs of numbers. So basically it could be like if you're seeing 222, 333, 444 or 4444, just repeating number, well, excuse me, repeating numbers. And there also is something called master numbers, which are like 11, 22, 33, 44. So if I'm seeing those repeatedly, 
that to me is a good sign that either it's a sign that, you know, spirit is trying to communicate with me that something's coming or they're nudging me in a certain direction, um, which with whenever you're seeing repeating numbers, think of be aware of what you're thinking of when you see that number. Um, think about what like you're dealing with in your life or like what you're kind of what your main what you're mainly thinking about for the day when you're seeing those numbers. Like I think it's one thing when you see repeating numbers on the clock, it's like, OK, you know, if I'm seeing them just plain and there's not really anything deeper to it. I'm like, okay, that just, I'm just in alignment for the day. Like my angels are here. I'm high vibe. I'm just in my highest path of alignment today. If I'm just seeing them randomly, but if I'm seeing a specific number that keeps repeating itself, or it comes up when I start to think of a certain thing or a certain person or a certain event, that's how I know that there's more so a message that's trying to be communicated to me. I'm being pulled or nudged in a certain direction. So that's a mini crash course on angel numbers. But overall, if I'm just seeing them in general, that's a way for me to know that I'm in alignment. Um, and like I said, if I'm seeing more specific patterns of I'm seeing two, two, two everywhere, like I'm constantly seeing that throughout the day. If I randomly look up and a truck passes at the exact moment that says two, 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 or I think of an event and two, two, two comes out like the next time I look at something like those are all more so messages on a certain situation, I guess, if you will. Number two, synchronicities. So synchronicities, I love that they're like, um, What's the word? Oh my gosh, why is my totally blanking? They're like, oh my gosh, I can't think of it. It starts with the C, coincidences. Oh my gosh. Synchronicities are pretty much coincidences, but like synchronicities are more magic to me where I feel like coincidences, people are like, oh, that's a coincidence. But I'm like, no, a synchronicity is the same concept of how a consequence happens. Excuse me, how a coincidence happens. Why is this so hard for me? But it's more divinely guided. That's a perfect way to say it. A synchronicity is a coincidence, but more divinely guided and with more hope, belief that there's more like intention behind it and it's more divinely guided. So synchronicities would be, for example, like if you were thinking of someone and they just texted you or you texted someone because they were on your mind and they were like, oh my gosh, I was just thinking of you or you had the thought like, oh, maybe I should go here for the day. And then you open up your like, for example, if I'm like, oh, I feel like I should go to this cafe today and do some work and then you open open up your computer and an ad for the cafe comes up or something like that or someone texts you about the cafe things like that are all synchronicities to me where it allows you to be like oh wow like okay like I'm really vibing today things are flowing like I'm in the divine flow I'm in my surrendered state like I'm just vibing out right now I love synchronicity synchronicities always make me really happy and they're always just total confirmation from spirit or whatever you believe in from the uni that you're you're in the path of right alignment. So synchronicities always get me really freaking excited. Number three, and this is like a big one to me, when I come into contact with random kind strangers. So this just happened to me the other day. I was vibing so high in the morning. I was grooving. I was just like, yes, I had to run to the store to get eggs in the morning, which usually I don't ever have to do because we usually always have eggs. You guys know, but I went to go pick up some more eggs and I got out of my car and it was the first human that I saw that day. And we were like in the parking lot, like kind of across the park. Like it wasn't like we were next to each other's cars. Like he was across the parking lot. And, um, You know, it's usually one thing if you pass them in the store, you say hi. But like I said, this person was like across the way from me and we both made eye contact. And he was like, hi, how are you doing today? And I was like, hi, I'm doing well. How are you? And he was like, oh, I'm good. Thanks for asking. And it was like a very authentic, genuine, like just enthusiastic, quick interaction. But like that in the moment, I was like, damn, I'm high vibe. And like that is what that's when I had the thought to do this podcast episode. So that's like a huge, huge thing to me, because like I said, if I'm low vibe for the day or I'm feeling down or I'm feeling out of alignment, I'm telling you, I like won't have any strangers talk to me. I swear I won't have random conversations with people. I like no one will be feel gravitated to speak to me. No one will really feel gravitated to like look my direction, things like that. And that's why I'm such a huge believer that just everything is energy. And so you know, when I'm in, when I'm high vibe and my energy is electric and super magnetic and super drawing, I will have people talk to me. Like that's, those are the days when I'm in line and TJ Maxx and the person in front of me is like, oh my gosh, I love your shirt. Or, oh my gosh, did you, did you believe this? Or did you do this? It's like, that's when I'm always having these random conversations with people when I'm high vibe and my energy is just super inviting, super magnetic, super friendly. And that's like a huge, big sign to me. If I'm like having positive interactions with random people throughout the day that I'm like, okay, like this is cozy. I'm feeling good. (laughs) Next thing, kind of similar to synchronicities, but like if things are just working out and I'm having like out of the blue luck. So like 
I'm thinking of all these examples on the fly. I don't know why I couldn't think of any when I was why it would have killed me to write some down in the outline. But just for example, like if things are just things are working out, just kind of like a synchronicity. Like if you have good luck, if you're like, oh my gosh, I'm really hoping little things if like, oh, I'm hoping that I make this, this light stays green so I can get there in time. And all the light, you hit all green lights when you're driving or you were going to go buy something for the day and you show up to the cashier and you randomly get a certain discount for something that you weren't expecting. Or someone gives you a free thing that day, like things like that, where you're having random bouts of good luck and things are just kind of flowing. That's a huge, a big sign to me that I'm also high vibe. Next thing that is, again, pretty self-explanatory, if I'm just feeling good, if I'm feeling happy, if I'm feeling empowered, like I always say your emotions are, you know, kind of, they're like a little roadmap for you to know and they're signs for you to know to make sure you're going in the right direction. So if you're feeling good, you're most likely going to be in a high vibe state. You're most likely living in alignment. It's pretty, pretty simple and clear cut, whereas opposed to if you're feeling low, you're feeling sad, you're feeling guilty, you're feeling shameful, you know, it's, it's pretty clear to say, Hey, I'm I'm lower vibe today. Like it's no, that's no, you know, rocket science there. It's pretty known knowledge. So that's a big thing for me. If I'm feeling really good, I'm feeling energetic. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling grateful. Grateful is a huge emotion for me that if I'm really embodying gratitude I can't help but be super high vibe for the day so that's a big one and kind of what I spoke about previously how I could feel the magic in the air and when I'm low vibe I don't feel that magic when I'm high vibe I just will feel the spark I feel the spark in the air I feel this unexplainable just like hope and passion and just spark in the air like this magicness that that's not a word but you know I'll just feel this kind of magical nature to the energy of just the environment that day. And that's another big sign that I'm like, today's a good day. We're in alignment today. (laughs) So with that being said, I figured it would be a good idea to close out this episode with some of the ways that I like to kind of get into alignment to help to vibe higher. Because like I said, it is a conscious choice. It's not like you wake up and you fall victim to whatever mood you were in that day when you woke up. And I think that's the biggest misconception. And me realizing this in my personal development and spiritual journey is what set me up for a whole different life path when I realized like, oh, I am in control for the way that I feel that day. I am in control with the energy that I'm embodying that day. And therefore I'm in control control of the experiences that I will come into alignment with for the day. So touched on it previously, but that's why I'm so big on a morning routine and mindful practices in the morning, because that's what allows me to put in the effort to, and the intentionality to make the change, to choose the vibration that I'm functioning at and the frequency that I'm operating at for the day. So meditation is huge for me because it gives me a second to ground and to decide the energy that I want to go into the day with. It gives me time to think about things that I'm grateful for, which like I said, being in the frequency of gratitude, and embodying the emotion of gratitude inevitably raises your vibration as an individual and inevitably allows you to tune into that pop radio station. Um, So taking the time throughout my day to, well, I guess specifically in the morning to think about things I'm grateful for, hands down helps me get into a higher alignment to live my best life for that day. Um, And, you know, that gratitude practice can be done in so many different ways. So for example, like I said, during meditation, I'll think of things that I feel grateful for. That's a great way for me to begin my meditation. Um, and also if you are someone who's big into journaling, if I'm journaling that morning, I would like to make a gratitude list of things that I'll write down of things I'm grateful for. If you're someone who just wants to jot them down in your notes app, that's such a good, quick, easy way to help to elevate your vibration for the day and get into a higher alignment just by, you know, taking a second to feel that gratitude emotion will really set you up for success. Um, same thing. I'm big into affirmations and just saying things out loud. So while you're getting ready in the morning, you could also say things you're grateful for grateful for as well to help you get into that alignment but to kind of switching switching over to affirmations right now similar to gratitude there's so many different ways to express them but a way that I love is saying affirmations out loud in the mirror so affirmations are just really positive you know sentences that you affirm to yourself to help you embody that energy that you are speaking out into existence because just like how music is a frequency right that holds a certain vibration think of words are the same thing in order to sing a song and to make music you need to sing words. So it's the same thing that when you're speaking, it's still a sound, right? That's still measured in frequency of hertz. So whatever you're speaking is still a vibration that you are then embodying to help raise your energetic vibration as a human being. So if you're speaking high vibe words, positive words, positive phrases, speaking highly of yourself, speaking highly of your life, speaking highly of your goals, speaking highly of your day ahead, you will feel 
that higher vibration and you'll be able to embody that as a human and experience that in your day. So again, you can also write down affirmations in your journal, which is a thing that I love. Or circling back to meditation, I like to close out my uh, meditation by saying affirmations in my head. I like to run over affirmations and really feel the energy and the emotion that comes with me saying really empowering sentences. So when I tell myself I am a successful individual and I'm meditating on that, I'm deep into my you know energetic frequency and I'm I'm feeling my energy and I'm saying that in my mind, I'm seeing it. I'm an I'm a successful person and I'm a successful individual. I can feel the energy of that phrase in my body. And that is what's, you know, raising my frequency. And I don't mean to get this too woo woo, but it's, it's very science backed. If you take the time to research it, it is very real, even if it doesn't always sound like it. So affirmations are another huge, huge thing to me. And then just taking the time to slow down with yourself. And like I said, just simply intentionality. I find then when the people who just kind of get up and go about their day, I'm not saying you need this extensive morning routine, but the people who kind of unconsciously will just get up, make their coffee, get ready and leave for work and don't take a second to check in with themselves. That's when you are completely giving up your power and you're allowing the momentum that you woke up with, whatever emotion that you felt that day to completely take over the momentum for the rest of the day. So, you know, if you wake up in a good mood that day, then there you go. Lucky you're able to ride out that positive wave. But if you're waking up and you're feeling overwhelmed for some reason, or you're feeling off and you don't do anything to take a second to check in with yourself, that emotion, that frequency is just going to keep building up a momentum throughout the day and then kind of wreak havoc on your life. So taking any sort of second to just get quiet with yourself, you know, checking and saying, how am I feeling today and how do I want to feel? And so even if just as simple of journaling, journaling and writing that down for five minutes and saying, I'm feeling tired, but I'm going to choose to, you know, see the positive things in my life right now. That's going to make me energized. Or I'm going to choose to focus on the things that I'm looking forward to right now to bring me more energy for the day. Or I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed, but I'm going to choose to look at these, you know, these challenging tasks that I have as a blessing that I have things to work towards in my day. And I'm going to look at these, you know, challenging tasks asks as growth points for me to overcome to become better and I'm going to affirm myself that I'm strong enough and have the courage to be able to power through these challenging tasks things like that where you take the second to reframe reframe the emotion you're feeling reframe the frequency that you're in to be something more constructive more productive more proactive and will allow you to get into a higher vibration and therefore live that reflection throughout the rest of your day so that's why I'm just that's this is it in a nutshell why I'm so big on morning routines and just all of my mindful practices and, you know, energetic hygiene, because they are a direct reflection of your life. If you are letting your energy completely, you know, run wild, there's no regulation, there's no intentionality, there's no awareness of the energy that you're operating out of. It's like your life is going to be a reflection of that. Your life is going to be unintentional. You're, you're going to have no awareness within your life. So doing what I can to have that awareness, to have more intentionality with how I'm showing up in life has allowed me to really live a life that I'm proud of, that I want to be living in a life that I've always wanted and a life that I feel truly grounded in and alignment with. So that is it for this episode, you guys. I'm going to close that out here, but I hope this gave you a little bit more insight on just what it means to be high vibe and low vibe, how to know when you're in alignment, how to know what frequency you're in and how to help be more intentional to get into a frequency that you're wanting to be in. I'm hoping everyone wants to be in a high vibe frequency. So, I mean, if you want to be low vibe, listen to sad music and just let your negative emotions run wild and there you have it. But for all my peeps that want to be high vibe, I hope you can take my, you know, my feedback and some some of those action steps that you can take with those mindful practices to help you get into a higher vibe and live a life that is more in highest alignment. So for the affirmation for today, I have, I am in alignment with my highest self and my highest life path. I am in alignment with my highest self and my highest life path. This also just reminded me, I, my dad's here in town right now and I want him to be on the podcast and where is he can't be found because why he's too busy. I said this on my YouTube live, but he's just, it's, he's so hard to get to sit still. And I've been telling him to be on the podcast so many times and he just isn't for it. So I guess I need to wait and see in divine timing when he's ready. But I'm like, dang Joe. So I'm going to see if he'll be on a YouTube vlog instead <laughs> before he leaves. But yeah, 
Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you wanting to find more of my content, again, I'm on LiftFit on all platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Um, and also if you enjoyed this podcast episode and are looking to share it with a loved one, I'd love if you could just screenshot it, send it to whoever needs to hear it, post it on your Instagram story and tag me. I love to see who's listening. And also if you're feeling called and want to support this podcast, the best, best, best way to support me and to support this podcast and to help this podcast grow and reach more people and impact more lives is by just giving this podcast either a rating or review. It really goes a long way since there's no real algorithm with podcast platforms. So just those those ratings help to give these podcast platforms like, hey, people are liking Lift Fit Listens. Maybe we should give this to more people. So it just really helps this podcast grow. So I'm sending you guys so, so much love. Again, I really hope this podcast episode was impactful for you. I'm sending you so much love and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.